What if there was a game that taught basic vocabulary of electronics and electricity and made it fun for the whole class, no matter its size? Well, now there is. Conductive bingo is a cheap, thrilling, and informative way of teaching and repeating vocabulary in the subject of electricity. It can be used in classroom environments and even during hybrid and distance learning, and can be applied to third to sixth graders. Best of all, students will paint their circuits. When studying electricity, it's hard sometimes to think about the more advanced things, like capacitors and microelectronics. Let's put those aside for now. Within a classroom space, there are many great ways to teach about electronics and coding. Maki Maki is one example of them, and it's great, but not always fitting for every task. What if we're just beginning? But how do we teach the most basic components, like batteries, resistors, LEDs, maybe a piezo unit or a buzzer? Well, here is where conductive bingo comes into play. Students will learn and get better at their vocabulary, all while having fun and assembling and playing a game of bingo. The list of what we need is not very long. We will need some printed out sheets, some batteries of various types, and some electric components, like LEDs, a buzzer, a piezo unit, or a motor. There are many other options. Next, we will need some wires, and we can even use some conductive tape. Lastly, we will be needing some conductive paint. There are many options out there, such as generic ones, or brand bare conductive, or you can even make paint in batches which students can paint on with a paintbrush. For the basic setup, we're going to start by attaching one electric component to the top of the bingo card and a battery to the bottom. I think piezos are really cool, so I'm going to use one for this activity. It's great to tape it down so that we can easily connect the wires. I'm then going to do the same with the battery. I have this 9 volt battery which has a built in resistor and I'm going to connect it by taping it to the board. Next we're going to prepare the conductive part of our game so that we can start completing our circuit. I'm going to use this new bare conductive pen which I like and I will draw two lines so that my board is connected from top to bottom and then one connecting the components. After that we're ready to play. Basic gameplay is very simple. Once we have our prepped sheet, our aim is to connect the bottom and the top. That way we will complete the circuit. The board has 24 different vocabulary words related to the electricity unit. One by one, the teacher will define these words and it is up to the students to draw a square around the word that they have identified. That way, slowly over the time, while students are learning vocabulary, they will be connecting the bottom and top lines with the conductive paint. This is a great way to practice and recap vocabulary, as well as a great opportunity for EAL learners to practice this vocabulary at a slower pace. Now, our last word to define here is series. The teacher reads the instruction. When two or more components are connected one by one after each other and the current flows through all the components placed in it, the students draw a square around the word series and that, oh, you can hear it. That's the piezo unit going off. We have now connected the circuit and the piezo unit is on. And that is how you win conductive bingo. To show you a second example, this game card, which is also almost done, has one last word. Here, I used an LED. As soon as we connect the last square, you can see that the LED goes off, completing the circuit. What a fun way to learn vocabulary. This has been a presentation of Conductive Bingo, an easy and fun game to recap electricity and energy vocabulary, which you can play with your students in any classroom.